Hi folks. Did a video not too long back about uh, this battery and I jump started it using a Harbor Freight 5 in 1 portable power pack. And I haven't gotten around to doing anything with it, but uh, I gotta take care of it. So, I want to uh, start basically from scratch as to how I'm going to deal with this battery. And first thing we're going to do is test this battery once again. I'm using this El Cheapo Harbor Freight multimeter that I bought for, I think it was three dollars, maybe two. And it works. So that's all I care about right now. I have a better meter, but I, I just want to use this one and I'll show you why in a minute. So we've got 8.53 volts on this battery right now. And in general, that means that this battery's had it. But I'm gonna to try to get it going. I'm gonna to try to fix this battery. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check these, these cells on this battery and see if I have any dead cells. And start out by just cleaning it off here. Now, I want to say that uh, in no way am I any kind of a battery expert. And what I've learned, I've learned basically online and I don't know if it'll be enough, but I, I hope so. But first thing I want to do is check and see if I have any dead cells. So, what I'm going to do is take this multimeter and stick it inside these, each one of these cells and see if any of them aren't contributing. See that, that last one here? Well, I guess there's something there. So, I guess I don't have any dead cells, and that really is only a guess on my part. It's hard for me to say. Now, I've looked inside here, and I can see liquid in all of these. But it looks a little bit low to me. So, I'm going to put distilled water in some of them. I've got some distilled water here. What I don't have is a funnel. So, I'm just going to try to... Well, I just got some... So, that's pretty low. Trying to bring it up to the level, the one that I see that's the highest.
quite a lot of water. Now, I, they've all got water in them at a fairly uniform level. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is clean these, these terminals with a fire brush to make sure that there's no corrosion or anything in there. I just want to show that even though didn't look like much corrosion uh, from the outside. There was some on there. So, this can't be a bad thing to do no matter what, even if it doesn't fix this battery, is to, to clean these, these and the terminal and, and this, clean it up, see if it'll help. So I've got everything connected up again, and you know, just for fun, to know it probably won't be any different. I'll just check it with this meter once again, and there's basically no change. So. Now we're going to jump start this car and let it run for, I mean this truck rather, and let it run for about 20 minutes and see where that takes us. Okay, now here I want to check to make sure that the, the charging system is working. We got 14.28 volts, so I know that charging system is working. Okay, I let the uh, I let the truck run for about a half an hour actually, and I'm going to check the voltage on this battery and. We're up to 12.23 volts. Now, I don't trust this battery to hold a charge, and I mean that. I really, really do. So, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I bought this Whizbang Plus on on eBay paid $25 for it and that included shipping and this is a battery desulfator and I'm gonna hook it up to this battery and let it do the work now I've seen other people that have done desulfating with with batteries and they they use uh, they use Epsom salts and I've seen them use other stuff too and uh, I have nothing against any of that I suppose it works but I've decided I'm gonna try this so I'm gonna hook it up and uh, let it sit now the only way I'll know if it works is if it says it takes a month to fully desulfate a battery and uh, I'm going to have to guess that that's probably true using one of these. But we'll, uh, we'll hook it up and, and see if it helps it. And I'll have to just test this battery once in a while and uh, get back to you on whether or not it worked or not. So I've got this installed on here. And... You can see that that green LED is on. I can hear, I can hear uh, a whining sound coming from this device. And it's supposed to be that if you can hear this, that sound, then this thing is working. So 
I'm going to leave it on here. And with any luck, it's going to help restore this battery. So, I'll do an update once I get anything figured out about this thing. Uh, now, I did uh, send an email to the, the guy that sells these things on, on eBay. And he said, he, he suggested using a trickle charger, but he didn't say it was necessary. Uh, he said that it would work with or without a trickle charger, but uh, that he recommended using one, and I don't have one. So I'm gonna try it without a trickle charger. Now, one thing I didn't ask him, and I should have, and I might still do it, is uh, I, I didn't ask him if it was okay to drive with this thing attached. I'm gonna guess that it is, but that's only a guess. So that's about it for now. Uh, I'll have to do an update once some time has passed and we'll see if this thing has helped this battery out or not. So thanks for watching.